Wait, well there means you're recording, that should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to some Minecraft of Better School Age, episode 998. I think that's what we're on. Oops, I accidentally hit the button a bit too much there. Sorry, I had to close my eyes while I was trying to think of what number we were on. Uh, okay, so last episode we got, well, we got very busy. As you can see, a lot of glowstone everywhere. Kind of ran dry the last of my glowstone. Luckily, I did put away like a stack of it, I think. So I had to clean some good dirt on my, what do you call it, mouse pad there. Too bad, guys. Alright. I did put away half a stack, yeah. Half a stack. So not the worst, I tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I tell you, I'm trying to push buttons and then it never works the way that I want it to. Alright. So go look at that. Bam. 36. Not bad. Alright. So. In today's episode we're going to go and fix up that hole in the ceiling. I think that's what I'm planning on doing. And then. I had something else that I needed to do. Ah. Okay. So we're just going to go and start with this bit over here. And then I'll go fill in the ceiling. Okay. Okay. So let us begin by tearing down this wall. Well, it's not the most efficient way, but you know, it's a way to way, I tell you. All right. So let us go and quickly go through all of that. And it turns out there's a big hole here. Is there any dirt in here? Surprisingly not any dirt in here. Well, that's unexpected. Ah, let's see. Hmm. Well, that does not matter. That does not matter. Alright. I do want to say something, right? So, one of the shorts that I uploaded. I got told that I should really build a, what you call it, guardian farm. And I do want to do that soon, I tell you. I do want to do that soon. Though I have no clue on what I'm getting myself into because I've never built one, actually. But then I tell you, there's always, you know, fussing for something, I tell you. Fussing for something. Alright. So, we're just gonna delve into that at some point. The problem is, I need to figure out where I would like to put this, uh, guardian thing. I already have one place, you know, sorted out. And I guess it would spawn if I put water in the inside. It's already still, you know, water in the inside. But, you know, still. I could make a farm in there. It could work. Could work. All I need to do is just dig through the ground. And make a, you know, underground base of the temple. So I guess that would work. It saves me so much time, you know, and, you know. The other way. That is going and draining this one over here. Sorry, I keep hiccuping this episode. Either that, we could go and drain this one over here, or that one over there. You know, we just have a lot of, you know, sea temples in our world. Uh tracks me up that. Alright. And another thing that I was told is, uh... That I was using a silk touch pickaxe on a uh, coal. And the, the only reason why I do that is because, uh, well, one is for, you know, now I'm getting distracted. I tell you, I see diorite and then I want to remove the diorite. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright. I totally got distracted what I was going to say, and it now went out of my head. So we'll just, you know, carry on. Ah, silk touch. So I do... Let's see. The reason why I use silk touch so much in the series is because, one, I get stone from it, and stone I can use a lot more than cobblestone. 
and saves a lot more time, you know. You know, instead of, you know, smelting it all. Apologies if I said you know a lot there. <laughs> uh, Alright, put that there. Actually, just put that there, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Hmm. That is surprising. Dark space. Mobs could have spawned there. Would have been a pain in the butt trying to track that one down, I tell you. Alright. Forgot to break that there. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know, with all the progress that we've made on this area, I tell you. I do see, like, you know, there is a, you know, end to it soon. There is an end to it soon. It may not, like, seem like that for you. We've been, you know, working on it repeatedly. And I was supposed to uh, go and do something else this episode, but, you know, that little song at the back of my head that was like, you know, hmm, could finish soon. And so, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Ah, uh, cracked myself up. Alright. So we're gonna go and put all of that there. I need to clean up that. But my main thing that I should be cleaning up is actually the roof level. Because I do need to make it the same height, don't I? bad. And also we've got dirt here. I'll definitely use that for my uh... Definitely not this area right here. Definitely not. I'm not recycling my material right away. <laughs> uh, I tell you, we run out of dirt super fast. I actually need to figure out what we could do for a substitute for a... Uh, well, a way to mass produce dirt. The only way in 1.12.2 to mass produce dirt is by, you know, mining it by hand. Or making a farm to mine it by hand. By just clicking a lever. So, multiple, you know, ways. Multiple ways. Though, you know, a lot of them would take a lot of time. <laughs> So at the end of you know, the day, probably best to just mine it by hand. Saves a lot more gunpowder. The reason why we need so much gunpowder, I tell you. You know what, I don't know why I need so much gunpowder. I've been saving it for ages, and I normally save it for TNT, because we, you know, started using some of it in projects, and I thought, you know what, this could be a good, you know, thing to use in projects, and then I never used it again. Oops. I tell you, it went into my hot bar there. Went into my hot bar there. Alright. Let us go empty our pockets out. Don't want to chuck away the, you know, valuables just yet. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. You can kind of already see how well it's turning out so far. Yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. I could dig the wall a bit further, but is that really necessary? Nah, nah, I was trying to preserve some of this over here. I'm thinking about mining something this direction. I know we don't have that much room due to, you know, all of these build projects here. But I'm thinking about putting something down that direction. I don't know what I would put there. We have so many different areas around our world. That have kind of just gone on into dead ends. And that has kind of become the problem there. That I really need to sort out. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright. Let me just go and mine out all of this here. Save me doing it later. I can't really, you know, put like a layer below that, so I can just fill it in later. 
so we're just gonna have to leave it, you know, open. Open to the air. The reason why I have to leave it open to the air is that I have to move these chests later. And move them over to the storage room. I do have a plan for the storage room. Is that Enderman over there? Oh, there's an Enderman over there. It's just the wood. Just the wood. Alright. Put that there. Now, what was I talking about? It's just went clear out of my head. I tell you, my brain is just not what made it now, I tell you. Just not what made it now. Alright, let me sink. Let me sink. Yeah, my brain's just not with me though now. Really annoying when the older brain does that. I just don't have the best memory. There we go. And go like that. Break that. And go like that. There we go. So close. So close. Alright. You know what? You know what? I'm kind of trying to pick up the pieces of what I was talking about earlier. What I mean earlier, like a few minutes ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, my brain's just not working with me. I've not slept, but that's not really the reason. I just don't have the best memory. You know. Goldfish memory. Kind of, you know, Nemo, Dory memory. It's like that. Ah, uh, let's see. Pick up all of this. Ah. I think we were talking about moving the chest. So we have to move the chest over to the storage room. And yeah, I know where we are now. So the storage room that we have is good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It has plenty of storage. But my main thing that I'm planning on doing is also making a normal Minecraft storage area. Because I feel like, yeah, I can put it all into this, you know, thing here, you know, this thing that can hold like 10,000 blocks, you know, and all that. But I would rather have something as well, just in case that mod ever, like, you know, explodes. So at least I have, you know, some materials left over, if that ever happened. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going to go with, I tell you. Is make a backup storage. There's nothing wrong with that, tell you. Nothing wrong with that. Kind of just defeats the purpose of, you know, why we have the storage room in the first place, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, oh no, if something went wrong, you know, with my storage system, you know, I would easily be able to continue on and not be set back to square one. Because I tell you, we'd still need to go on the quest of 400 diamonds. Now, for any of you that do not know, I talked about this during our nether trip two episodes ago. And I want to get 400 diamonds. Not for, like, you know, money or anything like that. Oh, there's slime over there. It is more for... If I had 400 diamonds, I could make another set of, you know, rainbow armor. 400 diamonds is about... The basic amount, but it's not really 400 diamonds, it's more about, maybe, nearer to 500. And that's a lot of diamonds, don't get me wrong. Okay, just go a little bit further. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright. So, the reason why we need, you know, so many diamonds is to make, you know, the rainbow armor. But I will need to make a specific thing for each of these armors. 
I want to make an armor for each damage thing. So we're going to have a fire armor, you know, for taking fire damage. So if I ever do like a boss mod, I would always have a kind of like backup of armor that I could use for the type of damage that the boss is dealing. And we've had many bosses in the series, I tell you. We've had the Killager boss, we've had uh, the entire Twilight Forest. We did try to do the Azer, but the Azer is just, it does not work with my mod pack. It is completely broken, even the newer and older versions are just completely broken. Whenever I uh, have to make a backup, I have to say no when it says about, you know, oh, you know, the Aether Legacy, you know, that we played and sucked. Reasonably, you know, the Aether Legacy should not even be, you know, the Legacy of Aether because it's that trash. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That slime's coming over here, isn't it? No. It's just chilling. Just chilling. I tell you, Diorite has kind of became my uh, go to, like, you know. I guess I could clear out this entire level here. Oh, wait, do I have to? I think I do. I think I do need to clear out this entire level. You know, well, let me put this in first and then we can take a look. I think I do, actually. <laughs> I think I've missed the entire level that I've been needing to do. And I've just been filling in the roof there. Oh, poop. You know what? Plans always backfire. As I say, you know, a combat plan never, you know, when it gets into action, stays. Way it should. There we go. Not too bad. All right. Let me go and grab all of the stuff that we need to. Like, yeah, there is still a lot of you know the grass around here that I still need to do. Was there a skeleton there? I was turning so fast that I thought. There was a skeleton there. I saw it was like, you know, imagining stuff there. I was like so worried, like, you know, I saw, I saw a skeleton, like it was a perfect skeleton there. I don't think the, you know, darkness on the wall would have made that. It scared the life out of me there, I tell you. I thought I was like suffering from like schizophrenia or something. Just imagining, you know, thing being there. It just reminds me of that one Minecraft meme, meow, you know, when schizophrenia takes and, well, Once he gets to Renu, what happens, and you know, he's fighting two, you know, skeletons, and then they both disappear. We're still. God, need to do something with slime. We have too much slime. Like, I'd, I've just been, you know, stacking up slime. We don't have any on those now because we put it away. Still need to fill in that hole there. It's where we buried the previous chest before we moved it. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. I have this big bit of, you know, land here. And I like it being open, but I need something here. That's what I'm going to say. And then we'll start to move on with the other projects. Like the ice, well, the yeah, ice gold, I think it was called. Ice gold project. Consisting of uh, building an area that leads to another area that way. You know what, that that doesn't sound the best, but you know, when shown it, it will probably be better. I cannot describe it the way that I want it to, plus I do not have my book open that I normally draw down my designs in. Like all that you're seeing right here is just me going freehand with building, like you know, I didn't plan out all this stuff. Break that. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted here a sec. So what you're seeing here is me, you know, going freehand. 
with this area. I had a bunch of build projects that you can see, you know, areas, you know, build projects, all that. You know, this used to be how you would, you know, go into this area, you know, that's why we have this little path here. And then that changed when I opened up the entire place. I still want to open up the, what do you call it, other area. But I think this is open enough. But I might open up the entire back end of the Dirty Dirt project. Flower field. Oh. Hey. Words are just not working for me today. There's always like a hiccup or something that's, you know, gotta come up or a yawn or something. It's not like a yawn yawn, but you know. It's hard to describe. Hard to describe. It's not a yawn, but it's super annoying. It's like a pre yawn. And it's just, you know, it stays for ages. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And uh we can put that there then now. Yeah, we do have a lot of light and issues, you know. In this new area. Like we did all the lighting over here, you can see it, you know, how it works and all that. Very, you know, cony designs. We got great glass there. I should really have made it a little bit better, that's what I feel like. But then the thing is, it's the first time that I've used grey glass, you can't be, you know, too bad about it. First time that we've used grey glass. Do you see that? It's like there's a block up there. I don't know if I'm just managing and stuff, but you know. It's like a little doodle block, like it's stuck in the wall. Maybe it's diorite? I think it is diorite mixed with stone or something. I guess maybe it despawned? You saw that, didn't you? I'm not just imagining stuff there. The grass is already spreading, so that's good news. go and break this down. And let us go and head up this way. I miss that block of stone there. all of that there. Cannot get to that just yet. There we go though. It's not looking too bad at all. The only problem that I do see with this area is that the amount of granite and diorite down here. I never realised how low you get in Minecraft and it just feels like there's so many of these different ores just scattered around. When I mean ores, blocks. They're not ores, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yes, I do see that I need to eat. We'll do that very soon. A 
Oh, the gravel's about to fall. Not the worst, not the worst. And slowly but surely, that's all coming crumbling down. I'm just kind of dropping all this now. Just putting up some temporary lights now. Let us go and mine some more of this. And let us go like that. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I missed one block. Uh, let's just go and grab everything. And put that in there. Like we've gotten so much cold, you know, or I need to break it soon. Need to break it soon. Do I have my uh, rainbow pickle? Oh, there it is. Rainbow pickle, rainbow pickle, rainbow pickle. I accidentally put my uh, other thing away. My shovel. Did I drop my shovel? Not sure. There we go. Grab the stone back. Because I will be needing the stone for, you know, filling in all the stuff. How much iron is in the ceiling, I tell you? Like, I've gotten stacks of iron blocks now. Or a stack of iron blocks. I don't know how many iron blocks I have. A couple stacks? I think it's a couple stacks now. Around, you know, second stack. That's despawned now. Oops. I meant to put it in there. <laughs> Yeah, we're just chancing fate there. We are just chancing fate there. Oops. Grab my shovel bank. And let us go and put that there. Just go grab that. I've seen if it would work, but sometimes you get XP and then sometimes you don't. Oh, I didn't break this bit. I'm on the way back up. Oh. I 
don't actually have enough to jump. I've got one apple. I know I've got some rods left there as well. Alright, let us go across this entire bit here. Remember, we're just not, you know, doing this one path. We need to do that path over there as well. We'll change, you know, the geography and look at that area, but I feel like we can do something better and new for that area. But it will take time. We're near, you know, 1,000 episodes after all. Ancient gravel. Always a pain in the butt. I knew it would come back to strike me this gravel. There we go. Not bad. There we go. Sorry if I was not speaking there. Sometimes I just get a little bit too focused and forget to speak. You know what we can talk about? Hmm. I'm trying to specifically remember what I was going to talk about there. <laughs> well, we're near 1,000 episodes, and for any of you who are new, I have a plan for when we get to 3,000 episodes. So, it will be a free parter. Attacked by a fly there. It will be a free parter. Episode. I'm deciding to do a stream as well. That would make it a four parter. Get out of here. Yeah, I probably will probably do a three parter instead of the four parter idea. I like the idea of doing the stream for it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me know, let me know down below it, area. Because I'm thinking, like, yeah, it could be a good idea. And then at the same time, I feel like, you know, it'd be a bit pushing it. Feel like it'd be a bit pushing it. There we go. So, back to the pre parts of thing. I do apologize if I'm not speaking too much. I don't know why, but you know, I just keep getting too focused. I see something and then I end up you know, getting distracted. It's basically like ADHD but for building. It's build ADHD. <laughs> uh. Uh, and it cracks me up. Let us grab all of this. Not bad, not bad at all. 
grabbed quite a lot of it actually. But at the same time I feel like I'm missing some of it. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Ah, slowly, slowly but surely, we're chugging our way through it. I forgot my chest were here. I was like, you know, wow, there's chests here. Like, when did I put chests here? And then I realised where I was. I didn't realise I was that far over. Ah, uh, cracks me up that. Stupid flying keeps trying to touch my butt. Pavati slide, oh yeah. I guess drill would be a good idea. That absolutely scared me there. I saw it was gonna go downwards. dropping so much resources into the water here. There we go. Not bad at all. We got well at looking now. We got a lot of resources on the ground though. So that's not very good. Oh so that's so much gravel. I tell you this entire area that we're currently in has just turned into like gravel central over the you know time that we've been doing this world and that is a lot I tell you that is a lot okay let us go and pick up everything slowly but surely we'll pick up everything and what could we talk about Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that I would like to talk about. Hmm. Ah, that's something that we could talk about. So, I have been planning on what I'm going to do after we finish the game first. No. A very nice, you know, romance game that I would recommend. It's about these two women that get together. But it takes like, you know, time. Time. It, that's not the best way of describing. <laughs> they start off as a shy person and then they just get into this group. And then uh, it's an art group. And then it slowly evolves from that. As uh, they start to catch feelings for the other girl. And then you can kind of see it with the, you know other girl as well, that they're kind of feelings as well but they're trying to hide it, but at the same time they're not so it's not too bad, not too bad <laughs> I'm like the worst at describing stuff, but yeah I've already picked another one and I think it's new, I'm not sure I got recommended, it. it's like Victorian Gothic style and it's these two women uh, you know, vampire and non-vampire and I saw it because I, I get recommended stuff by uh, someone that, you know, reviews free games. Basically what I do with my random games around days. As I play a lot of free games. Oh, poop. Ah, there it is. We're just trying to clear up around the chest, not, you know, the stuff to get up there. I guess I've already done that. Okay, so that's not supposed to be like that. Keep accidentally, you know, 
pukes in the ground of you know the fountain. You're not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Ceiling's not looking too bad at all, actually. Ceiling's not looking bad at all. There are a few things that, you know, stand out but are easily clean up a There we go. Definitely gonna have to get a, you know, repair of my axe. I kind of just prolong, you know, before I go to the XP, you know, grinder. I don't know why. I really don't know why. We just prolong the time before we go, <laughs> and it could be a long time before you know we see that thing again. And I find that you know hilarious at the same time, how long it can be. <laughs> Uh uh cracks me up. Alright. I'm kinda just taking a little look around to see if there's anything that I missed, apart from that one over there. We seem to be pretty alright in that sector. We just need to do this sector over here. Where you know what problem lays gravel or what I would call gravel vacancy. Not the best, I tell you, not the best to handle. Let's go and place all of that there. Oops, that is not stone. <laughs> oh, and I fell. Uh, I really hate that screen, I tell you. Because when you try and shift click, you know, it doesn't work. Also, I could have stuff that makes my stuff better, but it never shows the durability. And I think that's like one of the worst things. Why is there a fence? It's stone fence in there. I don't understand that. <laughs> I've been there for that long, you know, and I, you know, uh, it's hard to describe. I've not seen it for that long. <laughs> There's stuff in my world that I've had so long ago and, you know, don't want to even remember. Like we had a, what do you call it, time capsule for the future. Just out on the beach. Don't know what beach. Well, I do know what beach is still in my mind where it is. My brain decided to catalogue the location for some reason. When I wanted to, you know, make it a mystery, you know, treasure hunt, find, you know, the lost treasure. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's just head round and collect all the stuff. Guess I can get rid of that. And that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I did really like how this fountain came out at area. 
Nothing could tame, you know, quite well out. And go like that. Like, yeah, I do know that it's going into the wall, but yeah, I might take that strip away. Also, saves much more time, you know, instead of having to, what do you call it, do double these, you know, for every bit, so I would build one right there. I could just stretch over and mine it all. <laughs> oh, I find that hilarious. There we go. And slowly but surely, mine that away. And let us go like this and complete the final part. Time to fix that old gravel. Okay, so I need to fill that in. And just go like that. I would have exactly enough if I did not accidentally misplace one of the blocks. There we go. Let's go and break all of this. I don't actually know how much is behind me. I just realized I forgot to start breaking these. I could just break that on the bridge. We have short legs, we cannot jump no more. We eat, we gain long legs to jump. <sighs> break all of that. bad, not bad at all. I think this really turned out quite nice, I tell you. So I tell you, one more thing. I have kind of just, you know, stopped talking. And I do kind of feel bad for that, you know, when I'm getting too focused, you know, on a build project and I forget to speak to you. Well, that's why you're here, you know, to get spoken to. So I feel bad for, you know, not doing that just sometimes you know brain decides you know what we getting this build done and you can't do anything about it and be quite annoying about it that's you know 
was like for brain. Yeah, not bad. Surprisingly, it's not looking too bad, the roof. Surprisingly. I think it looks quite nice. Looks quite snazzy, would be the word. We got a Diplosaurus bone. Claw. The claw. You know, I remember watching Toy Story. Toy Story 3 on a DVD. Ah, uh, good memories. Okay, sorry, my brain went wandering there for a sec. I was just resyncing a memory. Resyncing a memory there. Ah, I've fallen. Okay, so I was just thinking back to a uh, memory that I had. It was when the SpongeBob movie just came out, and like all the kids, you know, were like, oh, I want to see it, and then I've like already seen it, you know. And then they don't believe me that I've already seen it. Who's you want to watch the movie? It was a pretty good movie, actually, the SpongeBob movie. Depending on what one it is, I tell you. I remember watching it. Ah, good memories. Good memories. I would always think, you know, they're able to do all this graphical stuff, man. But when it comes to regular anime, you know, animation, they're never able to do all of this cool stuff. Well, you know, adding shading. Something that they should be doing. But no, they do not do shaven. Shaven? Shaven. Ah. There. I just cannot stay on your know, platform without falling off every like two minutes. Two minutes. Break that. Break that. Break that. Alright, let us head to that platform there. But you can kind of start to see, you know, how big this area is. And yeah, they're not filling the blocks and the ceiling. Well, we'll do that later. We've been doing that so much, I tell you. We've been doing that so much. Just appreciate all the work that we've done here. Like, all of this area, you, it would take you a little while to walk through here. Because you would have to go down the stairs here. This is all a wall here. And then you had the bit that you could walk around. This was the only opening. And then you could walk there, walk through there, and then head up. And then we had this little area that went under, it went around, and then it would go around that bit, and then you could get up that way. So we have two ways of getting in and out. But now, we could just walk across. Bam. Simpler. More connected. That just kind of been the idea, you know. I built all these build projects, and it would be, you know, I build a room. I build a hallway from said room and I would build another pro project. And that's kind of where, you know, stuff like this, you know, this used to be just a room right here. Like, yeah, you had a bunch of holes in it from all the mine shafts, so this used to be a mine shaft area. But still, it kind of felt cramped. Taking down, you know, said walls, you get what this is. You can't really see where the borders are, but you can kind of start to predict where the borders are for when a build project took place. Like, you know, you have the square, right? So, ah, this is a build project of itself. Building down these bits here, you know, building this area. This is a hallway here, you can kind of see that. And it built, you know, this room here. This used to be an entire wall here, you can kind of see that. And then you have this area over here. This looks like, you know, there used to be a, you know, door here so I'm kind of saying that there's something over here that was you know used to be here and you kind of you know predict those bits there hit, 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 hit. but I always felt like you know it was kind of cramped 
So I'm glad it's a lot more open. We're going to be opening up that area over there soon. But we have to finish off cleaning up all this stuff over here. But we'll do that next episode. So, hopefully you enjoy this. Have a nice day. Hope it's all. Miss Rocious, thank you for the very important. And please say thanks to everyone for the CCs. Bye bye.